Hello and welcome to GBR. You join us today with the guys from the MRC uh, and the Infinity series. Uh, this is a new series, uh, the ITCC, the Infinity Touring Car Championship. Uh, obviously the uh, brainchild of James Harbin who has run the Infinity season. Obviously we've just finished season 10. Um, obviously this is, I say, a new series. Um, this is season one. Round one, uh, it's three rounds per uh, three races. Sorry, per round. Um, all different tracks. The first two tracks, obviously, the guys get told what they are, what times, and everything. The third track on the night is a mystery uh, until the end of race two. So no one has any time to practice. Um, and obviously, I'll cover that race later on uh, once I've done the first two. Uh, so. We are at Laguna Seca, as you can see. Uh, we are in the Group 4 cars, uh, FF or FR drivetrains, so no MR or four-wheel drive cars from the Group 4 category. Uh, and after 10 minutes of qualifying, we have T50 Phil, who put it on pole uh, in the Suzuki Swift. In second place, we have Judge in the VW Scirocco. In third, we have Bobby in the Audi TT. Quite a uh, retro standout livery right there. In fourth place, we have The Crow in another VW Scirocco. In fifth place, we have Ice in the BMW M4. In sixth, we have T50 Gary. So the two T50s have gone for the Swifts, it seems. In seventh place, we have Aaron in the Lexus. In eighth place, we have Portugal Don in another BMW M4. In ninth place, we have Chuck in the Ford Mustang, keeping it on uh, trend there with the American livery. In tenth place, we have Golden Brownie in the first of the Hyundai Genesis, so not too good for the Genesis uh, for this track. In eleventh, we have S. Bowman or Steve Bowman. In an Audi TT. Uh, in 12th place, we have Infinity Graphics in a BMW M4. In 13th, we have Surfer in the Hyundai Guinness Genesis. So, I was going to try and mix them together, but I'll let them make an absolute hash of that, so I'm not going to. And in 14th place, we have Brucey in the third Hyundai Genesis. There was only allowed three of the same car um, in the race. So there's only obviously like three Swifts or three Hyundai Genesis or three M4s. So, right, that's enough of waffling on. Let's get the race underway. 20 minutes round Laguna Seca. And away we go, oh, up the hill, oh, spreading out three wide in the mid pack there, and three wide at the front. Phil's been mugged there by a couple of guys, but it looks like Judd is going to make it into first place. A couple have gone wide, what's happened to Aaron? Oh, and who's that up gone wide as well? Looks like Phil as well. So we jump back with Aaron, see... What happened there? Is it just so he's on the outside and ran it? Not the greatest camera angle there, uh, Mr. Cameraman. So not great for Aaron. And what happened with Phil? Let's see if the looks like we've got a little bit of a tap there from Ice, and then coming back on, got a little bit of a tap from Bobby. So nothing there. That Phil could have really done being on the outside of turn one. You're potentially going to be touched wide, but Judge 
from second is now in first place. I think a lot of people have made up one place from Phil going wide, but we've got Crow there with a half second penalty in second place. So he must have cut possibly turn three and or turn four to pick that one up. Ice there in third place. Bobby in fourth. A little bit jumpy around is Bobby. I'll just call you P Don. Makes it easier for me in fifth. Golden Brownie up to sixth. Graphics up to seventh. So them two have had a fly and so a surfer an eighth. So them three flew through the mid pack. Gary has dropped down a couple to ninth. Uh, Bowman's dropped down a little bit. So has Chuck. Brucey has made up two from the start with Aaron and Phil going off. But as we come to the round, end of lap one, Judge comes across. This is only a first lap, so purple lap time will go to him at the moment. But that will change. Crow there looks like he's gone a little bit deep. And Bobby's got slipped under the inside to take second place away from the Crow. So will Bobby now be able to make a charge up to the back of Judge, who is slowly... Uh, pulling out a bit of a gap between these guys where they are fighting. Uh, P Don and Ice just uh, watching Crow and Bobby in front, seeing if they can get in on the action. A uh, lot of dust being kicked up there by Surfer, I think that was, it was, um, in the Gen Guinness Genesis. I'm going to mess that up what I know once during the season. Looks like uh, Brucey's got past Chuck for 11th place. Uh, you have to use the softs and the mediums for the three rounds, uh, or three races of the one round. So it's a medium for one race and softs for the other two. But Aaron has caught up to the back of Chuck there. Is Aaron going to go up the inside, give each other racing room? Who's going to have the drive coming out of the last corner? And across the start finish state, they're still side by side, so very evenly matched these two cars. But Aaron should have the better line now through turn one and two. He does, he looks like he's just going to sneak ahead of Chuck there. Bruce, he's gone a little bit wide, it looks like, coming out of turn two. <coughs> Gets it tail happy in or out of turn three as well. So Phil has moved up to 12th place now. So obviously not all been lost from the turn one incident we had with a few of the guys being bumped wide. The judge there is just absolutely checked out. He is on the racing soft, so you will have to use the racing mediums in either race two or race three. Uh, the crow has got past uh, Bobby, but Bobby, I do remember from the evening's race that he did leave just due to the lag that he did have. Um, he didn't want to put punt anyone off or you know have any incidents and it not really be his fault and it just be the lag that he was getting. Um, but that's obviously promoted everyone apart from Judge up to up a position with Bobby retiring from the race. So Ice there in fourth. He's got a bit of a gap over Golden in fifth, but Surf is going to side by side with Graphics in through turn one and two. Graphics getting a bit leery on the exit. So a nice little move there from Surfer past graphics uh, and Gary there just watching seeing which way he can go Look, everyone's getting it sideways Golden Brownie's gone wide Golden Brownie's spun it what did Golden Brownie do through turn four did he get on the lower pedal too early no he smashed the sausage curve there's a 360 does he do a 720 almost I call that a 690 so that's got Golden down to 12th place now. Um, 
Looks like Chuck's also had an incident uh, in the same. Chuck lost at the same time near enough Golden did. He's got a little bit larry coming out of turn three and into the barrier. He goes under the Goodyear. Is it Goodyear Bridge? No, it's Cooper Tire Bridge. So that's Golden Brownie and Chuck both crashing at the same time, dropping down more than they want to. But Judge still well out in the lead. How far is he ahead of the Crow? Let's jump forward about five seconds between Judge and Crow. So now Crow's not got Bobby to deal with. Will he be able to try and catch up to the back end of Judge and make it a two horse race for the lead? Uh, we have still got, we've got 14 minutes of racing to go. So yeah, still plenty of laps and plenty of time for the Crow to catch up to the back of Judge. But P Don in third, Ice in fourth, Surfer up to fifth. So first, Surfer started in, I think it was 13th. So absolutely cracking race for Surfer so far. Yeah, same with graphics. I think he started about 11th or so. 10th of 11th, so gained quite a few places as well. Gary there in 7th, Bowman in 8th, got Brucey right behind him in 9th. Phil has got, got his way back up to 10th place. Golden Brownie going, making sandcastles at a turn 2. It does get overtaken by Aaron for 11th. Golden Brownie 12th and Chuck in 13th, so that's your order at the end of lap four but with the judge being so far out ahead there's you want to kind of want to see the action uh, obviously i'll keep an eye on the gap between judge and crow see if it does increase or decrease it looks like there'll be a battle here for third place between the two beamers <coughs> there is another beamer in, in graphics in sixth place in the race so that's the three beamers in the top six at the moment so the beamers must be uh, feeling quite strong around here but obviously the two Shibokos out in first and second so for those made a little bit of a gap between him and graphics for that fifth place so surfer say having a, having a fairly strong race for surfer but it looks like the First real battle on the track is between Graphics, Gary, uh, Bowman and Brucey. I think Phil, yeah, Phil was a bit too far behind, so looks like Bowman's gone for a move up the inside, but a little bit of a tap between him and Gary. Probably going to give Graphics a little bit of breathing room for that sixth place. Um, we all know that that Swift is absolute lightning through the corners. Uh, as if you hit the apex that is Gary but yeah the uh, especially the TT as well with the looks of the M4 and the Hyundai Genesis being a longer car it does struggle to go around the corners but it does have the uh, the power to get going out of them that's for sure but these three are just uh, staying in line for the moment because it's one of the probably the hardest tracks to make an overtake on um, if everyone's oh that was very very deep there from graphics he gets it squarely coming out of the corkscrew doesn't pick up a penalty though I'm surprised at that but Bowman's picked up a penalty jumping all over that curb is graphics but he's trying to defend off from Bowman who isn't going to serve the penalty this lap round uh, just going through the gates now, so he will be serving it next lap. So all Bruce has got to do is just sit behind, and he's going to be guaranteed eighth place from Bowman. Looks like Bruce is going to have a look up the inside into turn one. Does he get it done? He's still on the inside, but he's now going to be on the outside for turn two or oh, turn three. Sorry, <coughs> no, Bruce. Uh, slips in back behind and runs it onto the dirt as well but you see all this little bit of fighting that they're doing it's going to allow Phil to slowly catch up to the back of him obviously he was the uh, the pole sitter so we know Phil's got the speed but he is on the medium tyre so yeah 
he's chose to use the mediums for this round Aaron there in 11th place Golden Brownie not too far behind not too many mistakes from Golden Brownie so far smashing another sausage curve coming up to the corkscrew and Chuck there really not having a, uh, a race to remember in 13th place currently so let's jump to the front and see if this gap has come down anymore let's get into five seconds and then i can see quick maths no still five seconds between the two of them so judge keeping the crow at a safe distance for the moment let's say we're only just halfway through the race probably be getting to about lap 15 or so I would think for the race 15 or 16 depending on where they cross the line when the timer uh, runs out but P on there he's pulled a little bit of a gap to uh, P on but he has got a half second penalty to serve so it will ice be able to make the overtake into turn one once Pedon has served that penalty we'll have a look at that when they come round to it in a second surfer all by himself in fifth place graphics in sixth looks like Brucey didn't capitalize on Bowman ha have uh, serving that penalty so uh, Bowman has kept that eighth place uh, ahead of Brucey, but Brucey has dropped back to the clutches of Gary. No, Gary was ahead of these guys. Phil's made a flyer through. How has Phil made a flyer through these guys? Have I missed that? Yeah, there's Ben serving the penalty. So Phil's just absolutely flown through the field, and I've not even really noticed about it. Sorry about that, Phil. But Phil coming up to the back of graphics there into the corkscrew. Decides just to sit behind and uh, try and get a run out and maybe just try and uh, see if... Oh, he does try and nip up the inside, does Phil, but can't do it there. <coughs> so is he now going to get try and get a run out of the last corner? Um, looks like he's going for the dive up the inside before. So that's Phil up to sixth place. Don't know if he tucked graphics getting it all squarely coming out. I think he did give him room, but graphics just ran it a little bit wide coming out of the last corner. But that does give Bowman seventh place with graphics having that little uh, power oversteer coming out of the last corner. Brucey in ninth place. So he's got past Gary, but Phil's got past him as well. Obviously, if you did carry, if you did watch the, uh, the whole of the Infinity season ten, you will know Brucey and Gary love racing next to each other. No matter where they are on track, they'll always find each other. It's taken them twelve minutes, but they're there. Aaron in eleventh place, still followed closely by Golden Brownie. So still a bit of a uh, contest for that. 11th place and a couple of seconds between them but Golden Brownie loving them sausages Judge there still in first place we'll see what the gap is between him and the crow when the crow crosses the line which will be any second 28 28 I don't think he's going to have caught up much at all minimal if he's caught up anything it's very minimal so these two are lapping near enough identical lap times. Peed on. He has been caught a little bit by ice after that serving that penalty the last lap round. I oh know I missed it. I messed up with uh, with Phil. Missing him going through the field. So yeah, ice hasn't been able to make the move past uh, Peed on. But looking at the tyre wear. He on soft, so about halfway or just over on that front right where you look at Ice's mediums is about 25% he worn. So will that come into it in the last 
six minutes or so of the race will tie wear now become a factor um, these two both about the same on the softs as well as peed on so the softs all wearing fairly evenly across the board for the front three so yeah the ice is doing a cracking job on the mediums in fourth place surfer there on the softs as well in fifth so still just kind of sitting consistent that time it's not making any mistakes it's uh, good to see there from surfer Phil there looks like he is catching 29s for surfer and high 28s low 28 there for Phil so is this going to be a race to the line with only five minutes to go will Phil catch surfer for that fifth place Bowman there still got graphics behind him and Brucey closing in to the back of graphics does Brucey go for a move looks like graphics just uh, just holds him off but does go through Brucey goes wide coming out of turn two is that going to give Gary a sniff no it's not but Brucey pulls over to the right it looks like to let graphics past because he thought that it was uh, his fault into turn one let's Gary but pass through both of them and uh, graphics getting it squarely coming out of turn four has allowed Brucey to get past him as well so a proper swap between them three in just half a lap golden brownie has got past it was Aaron he was catching up to so Aaron has left the race I'm uh, not sure why Aaron left the race uh, but that's put Golden Brownie and Chuck up a place with Aaron leaving because Aaron was in 11th look at the tie there between Golden Brownie and Chuck it's amazing what the uh, the mediums and the softs compound uh, how big of a difference it really is that judge there since pretty much turn one lap one he's been out front and been leading it the whole way he's only got another three lap uh, three minutes to go so I would say two and a half laps and he should have the first race of the season under the belt with a victory the crow there as I say who is the crow he's about four and a half five seconds still it's, really really close between these two if there wasn't a fight between uh, the crow and bobby at the beginning of the race i think uh, <coughs> these two would have really been going hammer and tong uh, till the end of the race that peed on there still holding off ice for that third place so ice just clearly not been able to uh, capitalize on peed soft tires wearing out but there is still time, there's still two minutes to go, so you've got another two laps from these guys. Surfer there, he has been caught up a little bit by Phil. Um, it's definitely definitely been caught up. So also that time's 29 fours and 28, I'd say mid 28s and yeah, mid 29, so he's catching a second a lap and there's a two seconds between them. So this between the battle between these two is going to be down to the line. Obviously Phil can catch up to him, but that's one thing. Trying to overtake, that's another. Um, and they're both uh, on one surface on the softs as well. So he's going to have probably not as much grip as Phil, seeing how worn his tyres are. <coughs> Bowman there in seventh. He had a bit of a breather with Gary, Brucey and Graphics. Brucey getting it, Larry coming out of turn four is going to allow Graphics to come round the outside into turn five. Will Graphics make it stick? Or will Brucey just keep it up on the inside? He keeps up the inside up to turn uh, seven. But does Brucey go wide? No, he keeps it tucked in. Looks like uh, graphics gave him a little bit of a bump there through the apex, not really where 
anywhere he could have gone. Yeah, Bruce, he keeps that ninth place, runs it a little bit deep, it looked like. Will he pick up a penalty for cutting over the kerb? Yes, he does. That's unfortunate there for Brucey. Could have done without that. But we are on the last lap for many of these guys. Colden Brownie and Chuck in 11th and 12th. But yeah, the last lap now for Judge. So they got to lap 14. I said 15. Wasn't too far off um, after the halfway mark. But these two, yeah, still about five seconds between the two of them. So. Yeah, Crow's just not been able to catch up at all. Shows you how evenly paced these two guys are. But we are on the final lap. We have got the last two, I believe, coming across the line. So Golden will finish in 11th. Chuck in 12th. But we'll go to the front. I'll quickly rip through. We've got ice there. Looks like, is he going to make a move up to the corkscrew? Or is he just going to sit behind? We'll... jump through the field so yeah back to the battle for third place looks like P Don might have done it for that last spot on the podium but up to the line comes the judge for the race victory round one race one cracking result there for him the crow comes along in second place just couldn't catch up to the back of judge P Don been able to hold off ice for about three quarters of the race. Full third, ice comes across the line in fourth. Surfer will come across the line in fifth. Phil, not a very good last lap there, but will come along in sixth. T50 Gary will come along in seventh. Bowman will be in eighth. Brucey in ninth. And graphics in tenth. If you've enjoyed this race, uh, please smash that like button, uh, maybe su consider subscribing um, and obviously you'll see any future commentary videos uploaded or live streamed. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.